So Unreal 5 is beginning to take its roots and I've seen some fantastic games, some beautiful scenery, there's demos, there's upcoming game releases and it's all very, very exciting. Now one that really caught my attention and is doing the rounds at the moment is a game called Ill. Now there isn't a great deal of information on this but there are a few kind of videos that showcase what you can potentially do with the game especially in the horror genre. So the studio behind this are called Clout Games. They are four people. There's three ex-mobile developers and there's a horror artist on their team. There is no Steam page at the moment. Uh, just a few things that we've seen on the Twitter page and also from their Patreon. Now they have been picked up by a publisher so they have now got funding to go ahead and fully flesh this out. That being said they are keeping the Patreon running because they have basically said that you know making games is very very expensive and every penny counts when you know it makes sense when you think about it. So the main trailer that they have released and kind of showcases a little bit more kind of less techie demo stuff is called Your Only Way Down. Essentially you're going into this kind of broken busted up office and you just get to see how beautiful the Unreal 5 engine is. The demo is incredibly smooth, the weapon models look absolutely brilliant and the office just looks so dirty and run down I wanted to get a broom and start cleaning it up myself. And as more of these kind of demos come out it's just it's a testament how good Lumen and Nanite are just they just create such incredibly high detailed textures. Now there isn't actually any information on the story that I know of so far but we do see lots of bloated zombie creatures and this is where the thing and kind of like it really ticks all the boxes for me because they've got these worm creatures in them and one of the things that's really unique to ill is that these worms create these real-time body transformations so you'll be walking along and like all of a sudden it could just like rip out and turn into an even bigger nastier mutant like creature and you can see in the tech demo, it's just, it looks so, I mean, oh, it looks horrifying. I, when I think of it, probably you won't end up playing this game because this is just ticks all the phobia boxes for me. But from a tech point of view, it looks really, really cool. Just the way that all the viscera and gore and flesh hangs off, it's just, it looks so fluid. And they've also got other demos as well. So like it shows cases kind of like how the hitboxes and models work and that you can shoot the limbs off enemies. And so like when the enemies die, like a, a worm bursts out their head and scuttles away across the floor. I think for a small studio, these guys are really showcasing some of the cool stuff that you can do in Unreal 5 going forward. And I think if they keep going with the way that they've showcased all these demos and the game is as cool as they've kind of like given these little snippets, this could be something really, really awesome. The only last thing really to talk about from Ill is the cutscene. So it's you're driving in a car, you crash, you get surrounded by these zombie things, they punch through the wall and then they drag you out and it's like you see the man being dragged into the forest and eventually to a house where he like ends up getting his head stomped on and then it cuts out there. So whether it's supernatural or it's like a government experiment gone wrong or even aliens, who knows? But this is one to watch and I hope they do really well. I hope they live up to the hype that people are generating for them at the moment. Anyway, I'm not going to waffle on about how pretty and gory and fluidy everything looks because you can see for yourself. But when I do know for more information on this, I will keep you up to date and let you know more. So have a wonderful day and I'll be back with more news soon.